Okay, so you want to graph these two linear inequalities. And I would actually resist using the graphing calculator here because if x is greater than 2. That just, for me, I mean, that's a little bit trickier than graphing y equals if you're messing around with the graphing calculator. But also, this is so easy to draw by hand because if we write, we write this first equation, instead of 2x minus y greater than or equal to 6, if we rewrite that into y equals mx plus b format, we can quickly change the way this looks in terms of complexity. Uh, at least that's how I, I, I love to, to, to graph in mx plus b format. So I'm going to add y to both sides, so I get 2x greater than or equal to 6 plus y. So I just added y to the left, that cancels out the negative y, and I balance that by adding to the right. And then I subtract 6 back to the other side. Cancels out, I get 2x minus 6 is greater than or equal to y. So here, this just means that my y-intercept, right, is negative 6, and my slope is 2. So I can quickly set up my y-axis, right, and my x-axis here, and then just mark off these two things, where the, the y-intercept is negative 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's here, and the slope is going up by 2 each time, and this line is telling me that y is less than or equal to, right, this line right here. We draw the line, so y is less than it. It's this shaded region here, lower than the line, right, it's shading the whole thing. Typically, we see a bunch of lines right there. Okay. Then the other line is x is greater than 2. So x is equal to 2 would be a vertical line where every point is the point where x equals 2, this vertical line right here. But it's not the vertical line because they're saying it's greater than 2, so it's just a dashed line, right? And that means it could be greater than this line but not equal to it. And you just shade in the region to the right. And they want us to graph these two and state any coordinate in the solution set. I'll pick one that's kind of definitely in the solution set. That's where the two regions cross. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, down 2. This is 4, negative 2. Sorry if that graph is a little... A little bit sloppy, um, but it's the it's just the tool that's working for me on this grid. So you have four, negative two is a point that's in both regions. All right, hope this helped.